Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Steel. I'm Teal. And we are with Studio Blue. Um, what this is, is we are going to start doing uh, first impressions of RPG Maker games, uh, generally RPG Maker MV. Uh, a little bit about ourselves. Uh, I have a background in game design and writing. Uh, I've been designing games since RPG Maker 2003, over 10, 15 years ago. And uh, I've also been a professional writer and published author for about five or six years. And I do level design. Uh, my favorite thing to do is programming sprites. So we have been working uh, collectively uh, on RPG Maker games for many years now. And uh, what we're going to do with these first impression videos is take a look at a person's project and offer constructive critical feedback, uh, how things work, how they don't work, where they can stand to be improved. Um, we decided to start this uh, off with a short game called Sayaka. Uh, it is a small, about 10-15 minute game, uh, Japanese survival horror, uh, done in the style of Whisper of a Rose, Rule of Rose, uh, the old JRPG uh, style horror games. Uh, I'm not expecting a whole lot of combat, just expecting some creepy atmospheres. And uh, we're going to give some advice. Yeah, let's get started. All right, let's take a look at the options menu, see if there's anything to do with Ooh, got a little thunder. Nice. Always dash. Yeah, we'll keep that off for horror. Uh, command remember, sync monitor. Okay, so just your standard ones. Uh, sync monitor is pretty cool, and so are animated tiles. We'll keep it as is. And let's go ahead and get started. Got sort of a Japanese schoolgirl thing going on. I like the thunder crash. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, my head. Where am I? These walls and this floor, they don't look like they're part of a, my school. Just where am I? Ooh, I like the fact that you have that light that's just on her and everything yeah. else is in darkness. Like a that. nice little lighting effect, absolutely. Yeah. It's locked. Why would someone lock me in? Is this some kind of prank? If so, then this is going too far. But then again, if this is Rosetta's handiwork, I shouldn't be surprised. Somebody named Rosetta, huh? I guess I'll just have to call one of my friends and see if they can help me out. Now where did I put my smartphone? Oh, she needs to find her smartphone. Where is it? Did I drop it? I was sure I had it a minute ago. Wait a minute. Rosetta? That's going too far. By the way, two is spelled T-O-L. Hmm, looks like I need to find a way out of this room by myself. Thank you, Rosetta. Thank you very much. So Rosetta must be infamous for pranks. Seems that way, yeah. Good, a little quick tutorial on how to move. That's fantastic. Uh, for those who haven't played RPG Maker games, something real quick to show them what to do. That's good. She'll hold shift to run. Okay. okay. We got the standard menu. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Go ahead and save. Oh, I like that. Age 18, playtime. Oh, okay, cool. Even it keeps yeah. track of total saves. That's good. All right, so let's look around. I do love the lighting effects. Uh, very creepy atmosphere. She woke up on a bed here. You threw us right into the action from the very beginning, which is great. Uh, I didn't feel like there was any warm-up. I'm just jumping right on in and uh, pushed into this scary situation. There's a vent on the wall just out of reach. If only there was something I could use as a stool to get up there with. Hey, that's good. You know, you're prompting the, the person to go explore and find something to, to help them out. And I suspect it's this box right here, and if that's the case, then you've made it, yep, relatively easy for the player to figure out what to do. It's a good thing. Yeah. Okay, now I can reach the open vent. Here goes nothing. So obviously this game is going to have puzzles in it because it's survival horror and what he's right. done, what the developer has done is they've uh, set us up with an easy puzzle to start us off. Uh -huh, right. So we're going to increase in difficulty hopefully as it goes on. Ooh, I like the vent. Yeah. Rats. 
No description? Oh, we need a description. We need this. a description there, yeah. There's a red colored veil here. Turn it. Veil. I think he means valve. Valve, okay. Yeah, let's turn the valve, see what happens. Did you turn it? I did. Okay. Looks like it. I love the little mice. <laughs> Ooh, looks like got some steam going on. Is that what that that's is? That's a steam coming from a crack, it looks like. So I bet you anything what? that's a. Yeah, can't, can't go any further. Okay, so that's a blocker. Okay. So there's probably steam right here. Well, yep, steam. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Okay, so another valve. Yes, let's turn it. That turned the steam off. Sweet. Love the music, by the way. Music is real good. Sets the atmosphere. Another puzzle that uh, isn't too difficult, just kind of eases us into it. That's good. Ooh. This teddy bear has seen better days. I is that blood coming from its neck? That's really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Oh, more steam. Oh, there's the valve. I like that the initial puzzle, everything you need is, is really close to each other, so you don't have to go too far out to, to try to solve your first puzzles. Yeah, I agree. You don't want to make the first puzzles too difficult. Um, you want to make them so that also the solutions are intuitive and the player feels smart for figuring them out. This is good. So far, so this far, is so good. Far. Okay. Oh. There's an open vent ahead leading into another room. Will you proceed? Let's go. It feels good to be out of there. Now I can leave. She thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, exclamation. Who's there? Rosetta, is that you? Oh, I see a little shadow figure off in the distance. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, it's yeah, right, right It's yeah. right there. Right there. Yeah. Moves out the way. I think there's some kind of creepy toy behind you. Hey, wait, come back. It's a bust. Oh, okay. No descriptions. Mm, okay. I would like to have a little description on some of these. The, see, the, like the clock. The right. clock is good. The clock reads 12 midnight. Is that blood? How is the clock bleeding? That's really creepy. Yeah, I like it. I have a little bit more descriptions. I don't have time for this. I need to go after Rosetta and get my smartphone back. No, wait. Is that red paint coming from its neck? It's kind of hard to tell with this light. That's good. So the descriptions aren't just copy and paste. Yeah, it's good. Whatever. It's still creepy. A rather creepy looking doll. Is that blood coming from its forehead? That's really creepy. The developer loves the word creepy. <laughs> See that? Yeah. Um, I think at this point we get it's creepy. Yes, yes. Get a thesaurus and learn other words. Uh, creepy is good, but overusing a word uh, kind of diminishes its uh, its impact. Right. So we got a door here, a door here with is that a keypad? That's a... Okay, I don't have time for this. And it, okay. And we seem to have a door over here. That's a door. Okay. So we're being herded south. Okay. Right, right, right. Okay. Excavation point. Rosetta, is that you? Answer me. Why are you running from me? Oh, there she goes. Yeah. Off into the darkness. You can't even see her. And she's gone again. Hmm, maybe it isn't Rosetta after all. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to find another way down. Yeah, because it's... Right, it's okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so now... Now I expect a door, one of the doors to be open. Okay, there's a keypad here. Looks like it still works. Cool. All right, okay. so we need to figure out Now we need to figure out that combination. Yeah, we know it's wrong. How many statues are on this floor? How many dead bodies are on this floor? How many creepy dolls are on this floor? How many clay busts are on this floor? Ah, okay, great. Ah, very clever. I like this puzzle a lot. That's a good puzzle. Okay, that's a little creepy, but I wonder what it could mean. Is it a password or something? Okay, yeah. yeah. I feel like I should have a sheet of paper. Uh, let's see. <laughs> K, 
Okay, we got a bust here. One. Okay. And a Two. creepy doll. Three. Two busts. I saw three. Where's the third bust? In the corner. Oh, look at that. There's, see? there's three of them I see so far. Three so busts. Three busts and one doll. And one doll. And the door's open. Is this all the same floor? This is. Oh! Four, five, six busts. Two creepy dolls. Three! So there's three total dolls, six busts. One statue. I'm gonna need a piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> Seven, eight busts. Four total creepy dolls. I think we're supposed to be doing teddy bears too, aren't we? I think so. Um, my brain <laughs> can only hold two. This is a very good puzzle. This, this is, is great. I this love this. This is definitely this. a good puzzle. Yeah. Uh, I didn't see any dead bodies, so I'm going to assume that's zero, and I saw two statues. Or one statue. Uh, we're going to need to get a piece of paper, so give me one second. <laughs> Very well done. I love this. While he's getting the paper, I'm just going to have to say that I love the just the the design and overall look of these dungeons. This is, it's definitely a lot of decay, and it's 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 creepy and dark, and and it's it really feels. I feel really. Like I'm in the middle of it. Ouch. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna statues. Uh, yes, yeah, statues. Busts, uh, creepy dolls. What was the other one? Dead, Dead bodies. bodies. Okay. So there's a bust. Let's do busts. Okay. One. One doll. Unless it's not a creepy. That's a, that's a teddy bear. That's a teddy bear. So okay. So one bust. Two busts. Three busts. Three busts. And I see one creepy doll. Creepy doll. That was all that was in there? Yeah. Okay. Another bust. Okay, that's four. One statue. One statue. A bust. Another bust. A doll. Another doll. Another bust. Another bust. Another doll. Another doll. Okay. Bust. Creepy doll. Another bust. Okay. That's it? That's it so far. Let's try it out. Okay. So, so the first one is uh the first one is statues. Are you sure? Let's go back and look at the um All right. plaque, because I may have put this out of order. The statues. Dead bodies is second. How many creepy dolls is third? And bus is four. Okay, guess go ahead. Okay. Okay, so the first number is one. The second one is zero. The third one is one, two, three, four. Okay, and the last one is eight. Oh. Nope, looks like we miscounted. We miscounted. But I saw another statue. I think there's nine busts. Okay. Yeah, I think we miscounted a bust. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's try this again. Ooh, oh, he remembers it. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Nope. Well, that is a. Uh, it's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even solve a puzzle. Anything here? We we we're, we're not good at this, are we? <laughs> not really. <laughs> So we saw one bust. Yep. Two busts. One doll. Three busts. Three busts. Here, put that in. Put that out as well. Put teddy that. Bear? Put teddy bears off to the side. Yeah. So we can try that on. Teddy bears. Okay. There's one there. Okay. There's another one there. 
Another bust, yeah. Another teddy bear. Oh, you're looking at bust, okay. So another bust. Yeah, another bust, another teddy bear. Okay. Another doll. Another doll. And another bust. Another bust. There's a teddy bear. There's a bust. Statue. Creepy doll. Is that another bust? Yeah, it's another bust. Okay. Bust. Creepy doll. Is that it? That's it. Did we get them? Okay. No. All right. What do we got now? We'll try it without the teddy bears first. Okay. Um. So the first number is a one. Okay. The second number is a zero. Okay. The third number is a four. Okay. And the fourth number is eight. Okay. So let's try it with the teddy bears. Teddy bear is three. Teddy oh. bears uh, would be in. Teddy bears and the dolls would be seven. Okay. Yeah. Right, because they have four right. and three. All right. Well, we're obviously missing something here, and that's a little frustrating. Because uh, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we got it right. And maybe it, we don't know what dead bodies look like. Is that a dead body? I think we can go in there. On the floor. Maybe we didn't go in there. We didn't go in here? No, we didn't. Oh. Okay, so we've got another bust. Okay. <laughs> we apologize for not paying attention. <laughs> Creepy doll. Okay. Teddy bear, another one. And that's it. Okay. This, this, this. There was another door. Yeah, no keypad. Oh, with a keypad. Okay. Oh, it's a broken one. Okay. Always try your options. Okay, let's go That's back. That's right. I like the fact, though, that, that keypad remembers. Yes. Okay, so the first number is one, second number is zero. Okay, now the third number... We're just doing dolls. ...is five. Okay. The fourth number is nine. Ah That's it. Ah All right. Woo! So the moral of the story is explore everywhere. <laughs> and pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in we go. There's a phone in here. Maybe I can call someone. Hello, hello, operator. Nothing. Why did I get my hopes up? Hmm? What's this? Looks like I might have found another way downstairs. I'm going to get this. Ibuprofen! Ibuprofen! Can't go wrong with ibuprofen. This item will restore 30 HP upon consumption, but we warned these are few. Ah, oh, okay. That's our healing item in case we need it. We have right. to hoard them. Right. Yeah. Ladder ahead leading into the rooms below. Will you proceed? Absolutely. Oh, Let's yeah. do this. Oh! Ouch! I saw that. You saw that flash of red? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good sure. one. I like that. What is that? Broken glasses. Getting a die-hard flashback. Mm -hmm. Man, that hurts. I guess I should be more careful crawling around in this vent. Oh, that's fantastic. So that way we actually have hazards now. Ah, but you didn't penalize the player by taking away any HP. That's good. Nice. Okay, and we're forced to go through an area that will harm ourselves. Uh -huh. So that may not be the best thing unless you have it measured out to where there's more healing than injury, then in that case it's not a big deal. Is Are we actually taking uh, damage? Yes, we are. Ten points oh, for each time. Oh, wow. So hmm. we definitely don't want to have the player feel completely helpless, like he's going to take damage no matter what. An alternate path to where they'd have to figure a way around the glass would probably be better. It's okay if they have to step through one or two no matter what they do, but four might be a bit excessive. Yeah, I have to agree there. I, I wouldn't mind going through two pieces of glass, but you made us go through four. Yeah. There's a ladder ahead leading into the room below. Will you proceed? Let's do it. Yep, let's go. Our bloody feet. <laughs> okay, we got another creepy doll. Okay. No, wait, is that red paint? It's kind of hard to tell with this light. Whatever, it's still creepy. Okay, a lot of cotton paste events here. Yeah. Sorry. All right, it's okay. Is that a doll? See, is there anything to interact with up there? Hmm, the wall here looks rather weak. 
I wonder if there's something useful behind there. Okay. Okay, so how do you get up there? So gross! There's rotting vegetables lying on the cutting board! <laughs> a dusty sink with no running water. Definitely a decrepit place. Yeah. The clock reads 12 midnight. Okay. Okay, is that blood? How is the clock bleeding? That's really creepy. This developer loves the word creepy. Alright, let's go. Oh, that's a block. Okay, I thought it okay. might be a door. There we go. Oh, there's a door. Okay, watch out for the glass. Right. Uh, don't, 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 don't you forget that treasure box there. I'm not. I'm just looking to see if there was anything there. Yay, there's ibuprofen! Perfect. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. We're down. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's save, too. We haven't encountered any monsters yet, but I'm sure there's something. No good. It's no good. The door's jammed. Okay. That just Optional makes glass you right explore. there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's the pit. Yep. So that's where Rosetta or whoever the shadow girl went. So we yeah. need to find another way there. Okay. So that door's jammed. Alrighty. Cool. But we can go there. Another little restroom. Another creepy doll. Creepy doll toilet. A dusty toilet with murky water inside. How very Silent Hill of you. <laughs> okay, a dusty sink with no running water, and the mirror above the sink is so dusty, I can't see my own reflection. Okay. Okay. This place is dirty and unsanitary. Yeah. That's like a vent up there. I wonder if I can... Hmm. I can use these boxes to gain access to the vent up there. Now that was intuitive. Good job. <laughs> Maybe we'll find something to uh, bust that wall down that other room. These boxes will take you up to the vent. Will you proceed? Yes. Yes. Oh, goody. Another vent. Another vent one. Okay, I'm going to avoid that glass if I have to. If I can. Nope. I have to walk through. Okay. Taking okay. damage. Ouch. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh. More glass. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have ibuprofen. Okay, I think that's the exit, so I'm going to go that way and just go through that bit of glass, yeah. There's an open mm. vent. Yes, let's go yeah. through the vent. Alright, another box. Probably more ibuprofen. Oh, you need a key to open that one. Oh, alright. Oh. Alright, alright. Okay, alright. There's a door right here. Oh, we can get in. Good. Cool. Is a shiny. You! Who are you? And why do you keep running from me? He he he. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <it's> so creepy. <laughs> oh, no good. Must have wedged into something against the door. It won't budge. Okay, good. Just who is this girl? I don't know, but I want the shiny. So far, I'm very invested in this character, by this the way. Is this is so fun, yeah. Yeah, Naomi is a very sympathetic character. I feel for her plight, and I, I'm projecting myself into her, so this is good. Oh, what's this? There's a key here labeled Toolbox Key. Should I pick it up? Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, yeah. We could definitely open that medicine chest now. Yep. I wonder what's inside. Hmm, I wonder where this could lead. It could possibly be my only way out of here. Hmm, we're gonna need a crowbar or something to help lift this grate. There was a locker back there. Maybe inside it has a crowbar or something I can use. It's worth a shot. That was a very good event. Uh, kind of taught us where to go in case we were getting a little confused. Right. Oh, hey, I have the key for this. Open it. What do we get? Hammer! Hammer! There's where we're going to get through our weak wall. Oh, yeah. The break <laughs> through the wall. All right, let's see if maybe this will lead us there. Nope, this is another room. Oh, oh there's a door, a chair. Oh, there's a chair wedged beneath the door handle. Will you remove it? All right. Yes, let's open up our exit. Wait. What happened? Where are we going? 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alrighty. So this leads us, oh, so we can go, we don't have to go through the vent anymore and get hit by glass. That is great. Okay. I'm definitely digging this. All right, yeah. here we go. Hmm, the wall here looks really weak. Should I smash it? Yes. Here goes nothing. There we go. Oh, hey, what's this? It's a key. All right, making progress. There's a couple of typos here and a couple of grammatical errors there. You can fix those up. Make sure you do. Uh, anytime the writing is, um, anytime you got spelling errors or grammatical errors, it just kind of detracts from the professionalism. And this is such a good project, I'd hate to see that happen. Agreed. Okay, so we're going to go back to where we came mm -hmm. from. Around the glass of Around doom. Around the glass. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to call it glass of doom. Yeah, that's definitely that. <laughs> Wait, something doesn't seem right. The air feels much colder than earlier. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, 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 oh! What the? How is that thing moving? <laughs> I need to get out of here fast! Uh... Well, you just go through the door and then it was... Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go yeah. through that. Okay, I don't think I can make it through the door. Looks like I'm right so far. <laughs> <laughs> now time to grab that crowbar. Not particularly sure why this game is called Sayaka, but it definitely should be called Naomi's Bad Day. <laughs> yes, seriously. <laughs> Alright, so there was a locker over here. Over, yeah, right. There it is. Is it? Okay. Oh, hey, I have the key for this. Open it. Okay, let's see what we can find. Perfect, found a grow bar. This is going to be very useful. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not here, too! She has intuitive reactions. Yes. Love it. Well, you're definitely going to have to jump down that shaft. They're knocking at both doors. Only one way to go. You're definitely being herded and that's okay. Uh -huh, that's fine. Okay, time to pry this grate open and leave this place. I like that we are being forced in this direction with the statues. I also like how the statues seem to pose a danger without actually threatening to kill us in the game. Right. Is actually pretty cool having yeah. the, the black screen with the sound effects it's like they're after her very indicative of horror what what happened here there's so many skeletons here uh, I'm not gonna join them okay. there's more of them in a place of dump dead bodies just what happened to all these people? Looks like she's in a sewer system. Yeah. And how has no one discovered them? Ah, good. Hanging a lantern on something so the player won't think you're ignoring it. Yeah, definitely some kind yeah. of sewer system here. Wow. They start moving. <laughs> well, this is good. Oh, we're outside. I think she's in a canal. Aha! There's my way out. Yeah, some type of canal. Mm-hmm. Somehow you gotta get out of there. Time to leave this nightmare behind. Can we say lulling us into a false sense of security? <laughs> There's a ladder. There's a ladder. All right. Yeah. Get out of here. Water fountain. No, nope. no description on it. I have to say I'm quite surprised you made it this far. Hmm. 
Who are you? Oh, that's right. Where are my manners? I'm Sayaka Wakahisa. Uh. We've met before, but I doubt you remember me. And there's Sayaka. Yep, All right. that's Sayaka. Sayaka Wakahisa? Hmm, where have I heard that name before? Dot, dot, dot. More dot, dot, dot. I guess this means our play date is over then. Come again. Oh, well, it was fun while it lasted. Ooh. Whoa! I felt that. <laughs> Erk. No hard feelings, Naomi-san, but I can't let you go home. I need you to die for me instead. But why? I've never done anything to you. The change in music. Yes. On the contrary, you being enrolled at Riverford Academy is enough for me. You see, I have someone dear to me who wants to enroll there, but there is no room for her. So I need to make room for her. Though I'll admit it was hard looking for someone who they wouldn't miss if I killed them. Ouch. Yeah. But as, I, but as I dug through the school's archives, I found you. You really are pathetic. Your test scores are always below 25%. I don't even know how you managed to stay there for this long. But it doesn't matter now. Soon there will be that vacancy I need. Wow. That's cold. The music is just really awesome. Yes. I imagine you have several minutes left to live. But I'll speed things up and send you on your way. Ugh! What are you doing? I'm taking out the trash. Ooh, that's rough. Ooh, wow. Goodbye, Naomi-san. I hope for your sake you believe in some sort of afterlife. Now go join the rest of them. <gasps> aye, aye, aye. Kind of makes you wonder if she killed people down there as well. Yeah, if all those bodies were from... Wow, okay. That was so cool. That was very cool. Okay, like it. I, I do like it. Uh, there's only a couple things I would do to make it even better. Uh, first off, this is such a good game with such a good atmosphere. You need to learn parallax mapping. Parallax mapping will give you, will make these maps even better. I mean, the atmosphere is great, but you can right. make them even better with parallax mapping. Um, <clears throat> another thing, throughout the game, I don't get any indication that Naomi is a bad student or that she uh, is the kind of person who comes from maybe a wayward or a broken home or something that would cause her to not be missed if she suddenly disappeared. I didn't get that indication yeah, at all. Yeah, I didn't get those hints. So I would have liked to have had some sort of... Uh, premonition or some sort of information maybe in conversation she has with herself as she solves the puzzle that shows me that one she's not a great student her grades aren't that good and that two she comes from a situation where if she were to suddenly disappear no one would notice maybe she doesn't have any friends uh maybe she doesn't have uh, a family to go back to right. or she comes from a broken home or something right you know so, some place where uh, or maybe an orphanage right right so basically, uh, when Sayaka gives her speech at the end, we'll feel more emotional impact that this girl who's had a really bad go of it, the situation just got so much worse. Yeah. Uh, but overall, very good. Uh, this was a fantastic first impression. Um, keep up the good work, refine this game, make it even better, uh, and then tackle your next project because you've got a lot of potential as a developer. Um, anything else you want to add? No, no, they pretty much covered it. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you liked what you saw, lay the smack down on that like button below. Uh, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on future first impressions and any other RPG Maker information or news tutorials that we have come out with. Um, like I said, this is our first video, so we're going to put out about one a week. And uh, if you're interested in having your project uh, looked at by us, uh, send us your information on the comment section below. Uh, contact us through YouTube, or if you're part of the RPG Maker Web Forum community, uh, look for Studio Blue and Foreverware, 
and contact us that way. We'd love to look at your projects. We'll give you critical feedback, how you can make them better, uh, what's good about them, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Have a good one.